All right, peptide public service announcement. So with the big boom that has been happening with peptides, a lot of people have been turning to injectable peptide websites, seeing as most peptides need to be injected because they don't make it through the stomach. With that though, a lot of people are turning to research chemical websites that on the vials, it says not for human consumption because these peptides are not really intended for human consumption. Now, does that mean that the pure peptide isn't safe? No, not necessarily. BPC-157 from a research chemical website can have the same chemical composition as BPC-157 from a compounding pharmacy. However, these vials are not just pure peptide. There are other things. There can be contaminants, impurities, things like that found in the vials. And that's going to be a big difference between the compounding pharmacy and the research chemical websites. Okay, maybe that's not, you know, contaminants, impurities, you know, not the end of the world. But the biggest thing here is actually going to be sterility and sterility testing. The research chemical websites are not in as sterile of an environment as a compounding pharmacy. And therefore, you are now at risk of endotoxins and infections, which can have really devastating complications. And we have seen far too many of those in our clinic. We've had patients come in who say, oh yeah, I think I have bad reactions to the one I'm thinking of was to be injectable BPC-157. And we go, okay, we don't think so based on what you're telling us. But every time they injected, they got this big, massive red welt on whether there's their stomach or their leg. Like I react to, I can't do BPC-157. I said, listen, humor me. Let's do this from an actual compounding pharmacy and not your research chemical website. And let's prove to you it's not BPC-157. Had absolutely no issues with it. What was happening was the product that he was using from the research chemical website was contaminated and most likely had some endotoxins. And therefore he was getting dosed with endotoxins every time he did an injection. We've had people say they can't do TB500 because it makes them feel sick every time they do it. No, that's not TB500. That's, that is endotoxins from an unsterile product that you're getting from a research chemical website. So think about these things when you are deciding, do you want to go down the path of, you know, doing injectable peptides and doing it on your own? The best way to do this is to find a physician that you can work with. Almost always you're gonna to have to be local to that physician because they need to be able to prescribe to you. And in order to prescribe, when doctors prescribe the patient, they generally have to be in the same state. And so you're gonna to wanna to find someone that can work with you directly and can prescribe it to you through a compounding pharmacy, not to research chemical websites. Please, please stay away from the research chemical websites and stop injecting yourself with stuff from research chemical websites.